was still quite a blood stain. I really hope that Marquez was all right. Yeah, he's totally fine. It's just a pizza stain. Don't worry about it. Nico's neighbor had quite an impressive coin collection. The chair had been knocked over in the fight. But there was something glinting underneath. It was Marquez's medallion. His medallion, the Gnostics. There'd clearly been a struggle. Marquez must have put up quite a fight. I spotted something in the mess. It was Marquez's family photo. Marquez wouldn't have intentionally left the photo behind. Hmm. I suppose we've pretty much done all we can here. We, we can't? Okay, guess not. Coins? Nico's neighbor had quite an impressive coin collection. Maybe there's more to the mess. Signs of a struggle. Maybe we can combine. Uh, the sofa. The sofa was a real mess, but there was something between the cushions. It was one of the photographs that Nico had taken during the robbery. It showed a section of La Maledicio. Marquez had written on it. Marquez had circled one of the figures in the tower and identified her as hmm. Magdalena. That had to mean Mary Magdalene. Marquez had circled one of the figures and written Judas. I wondered if he was identifying him as Judas Iscariot. Back in Bible class, Judas was definitely one of the bad guys. Marquez had scribbled the word sons across the photograph. I wonder what he meant. Probably meant those were saints. Just hey, Josh, throwing it out there. You find anything? Marquez's medallion. And one of your photos of the robbery. Marquez scribbled all over it. I think he was trying to work something out in the painting. Simi must have been right. The painting is some kind of map. We should... Hold on. My phone. Hello? Oui? This is Inspector Navet. I am looking for the American, Monsieur Stobart. Are you with him? Yes, he's right here. Mon Dieu, stay calm, madame. Where exactly are you? In my neighbor's apartment. But why do you... Do not worry. I am just moments away. Be very careful. He is armed and highly dangerous. But he seems so charming. Trust me, madame. The leopard never changes his stripes. That was Nave. You're in big trouble. Lane saw me with Simeon's body. He set me up for sure. Well, Nave's on his way, and he'll be here any moment. We have to go, Nico, now. Down the back stairs. We'll go through Fleur's shop. Ah, there you are. Right on time. Sorry, Flo, but we can't stop. Suit yourself. Damn it. Sergeant Moo is outside the door. He's talking to someone. Oh, no, it's Adam. Who? My neighbor. Ah, the pug lover with the trashed apartment. That's the one. Hey, Fleur. Great to see you again. You were expecting us? 30 more seconds and you would have been caught. Charged with the murder of a priest. Whoa. How do you know about that? News travels fast through the ether, Georges. Take this. What do I do with a ball of yarn? Bribe Moo with a nice Aaron sweater? You will find the way. Now, 
Excuse me. I think it's time you planned your escape. Oh, hi, Adam. Hi, Nico. They say I can't go up to my apartment. Oh, really? I wonder why. Yeah, I wonder why, too. I'm George, by the way. Adam, I live in the apartment next to Nico. I know. I mean, how interesting. Fleur, can I sit here for a while until the police let me back in? By all means. This looks like a greeting card room. So what now? Like just the floral you take a look around. background. A way to get past move. So we need can't go out. Uh, let's talk to Adam. Hey there, Adam. Oh, hey, George. What can I do for you? Do you know what's going on with the police? Uh, no, they wouldn't tell me. Good. I, I mean, strange. It's annoying. I'm really tired. It was a long drive. Oh, I've been anywhere interesting. I've just come back from a coin fair. It was mega. But that's fascinating. A coin fair. So, what do you We mean? have a coin! Oh my god, that's a platinum 12 ruble. It is? I, I mean, uh, yeah, of course it is. You know, it's going to be a rough day, Adam. Why don't you keep the coin? Are you serious? I'll get my pal Stefan to value it. His coin shop's just around the corner. Hey, maybe you could use the money to redecorate your apartment. But it doesn't need redecorating. That's a matter of opinion. The CD was already playing. I didn't want to mess with The lid wouldn't open while the disc was... I stopped the disc. Ocean dreamscapes. Just what I needed with the day I was having. Fleur's classics were blaring out into the street. Fleur, do you mind if I change the music? Good idea. The sound of lapping waves was affecting Moo, but I was going to need something more to open the floodgates. The stereo was filling the street with the... I gave the trolley a push. Fleur certainly kept her bearings well greased. Jos, what are you doing? I'm not sure yet, but there may be a plan for me. The stereo was filling the... There were boxes stacked along the wall. They were all labeled. Florist's phone. Flower food. Ribbon. Pee pee. Bouquet labels. Pee pee? My curiosity was aroused. It was a plastic stash. So you were aroused by pee pee. Okay. Careful with that. It's just gone me. Special order. What is it? A replica mannequin piece. Fill it with water, pop in some batteries, and watch it go tinkle. Hmm. Very tasteful. We don't have water, but... 
That might work. I poured the whiskey into the mannequin. Slant you, wee man. Slant you. Well, it seemed I needed to pull the trolley in. Ah, uh, yes, we could pull it with the yarn. Maybe, I don't know. I hope Moo didn't spot me. Okay, made sure that we have to use the mannequin, make sure we didn't have to look for batteries. I was on to something, but I needed to do more. Nothing had changed and Oh, it's storming out. Gonna make Those might come in handy. jaunty series of LEDs lit up around the figure. It's like a seizure-inducing urine statue. Okay, that's Moo out of the way. Let's go, Nico. Where? To see Bijou. She's been telling me a crock of lies since day one, and right now, I want the truth. So you're telling me that Bijou and Ops were having an affair? Yeah, so, she's got some explaining to do. You know, this is apparently Broken Sword 5. I wonder if these two have had a relationship in the past. They seem Bijou, like it. I need to talk to you. No, it really can't. George, how delightful to see you. May I present my friend Nico? George and I go way back. Oh, really? Well, don't worry, my dear. I won't steal him, though he is rather a cutie. <clears throat> uh, Bijou, we're here to clear up a few points, if you don't mind. This is a note from Hobbs that I found in your safe. How did you get access to that? How dare you? Bijou, you gave me the keys. I did? Oh, my head. I don't remember. We didn't do anything else, did we, Georges? The note is addressed to you. So Lane was telling the truth. You were in charge of the paperwork. Oh, so what if I was? That's not illegal? That wouldn't... I believe this is for you. A diamond ring? What has that to do with me? A gift for you, from Henri. Henri bought me so many expensive things. He never intended to.
that was all. How are you, Bijou? I have the teeniest of headaches, Cherie. It always happens when I sleep in the afternoon. I figured it was the champagne before the nap that had done the damage. I need you to be honest with me, Bijou. So you had the provenance made. You knew it was fake. I'm not admitting anything. The note from Hobbes makes it quite clear that you knew him rather well. Oh, all right, I did. I think Henri asked Madovsky for more money so that he could buy you that ring. And maybe that's the reason he was shot. Nico. No, Hans. She's right. Henri always felt he had to fight to keep it. Truth is, I love them both. Wilf and Henri. And now Henri is dead because of me. Go ahead. Ask your questions. I promise I will tell the truth this time. So, you and Hobbes are lovers? We have been ever since 75. Henri never knew about it. They were in a band together back then. So you were unfaithful to Henri right from the start. It was never cheating. I love them both. So you had Hobbes fake the provenance so that Lane would approve it for the insurance? Wilf passed it to me, and I persuaded Lane to sign it. He never knew it was a fake. Wilf is brilliant at what he does. So what was Madovsky's role in all this? It was all his idea. He'd had an offer on La Melodixil from someone. So Wilf put Madovsky in touch with me and Henri. He wanted to cash in on both the sale and the insurance. He set up the security company to deal with the robbery. I've been such a fool. Henri was never supposed to die. I know you didn't mean for that to happen. Wilf called me yesterday trying to comfort me. He said he would take care of me, that he had plans. Does that mean he has the painting? Yes. He joked about a secret place. Something about the original being behind my behind. I didn't understand. Thanks, Bijou. You've been very helpful. You know, I had the strangest dream earlier. Henri was here, and we danced together again. Such bliss. That must have been wonderful. Anyway, thanks again for your time, and... <clears throat> Nico, I think it's time we went to London. George, do you have something you need to tell me? No. Can't think of anything right now. Well, let's go. Shall we? <laughs>